So I am back. We're going to start on this wall, which is by her door. We'll start at the top. And now I put this one up here and I did leave these wishables up because I love this set so much. So it's the nightmare before Christmas. And this is Jingle Bugs. And I have to say, I'm going to pull it over here so you guys can see. We love this book and we love this author too. So Jingle Bugs, I'm going to show you the back of it, the last page. I just love this. What tops the tree all gold and glimmering and you open the present and it says a shiny star, star bug softly shimmering and then you pull down this tab. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my goodness, I can't. How fun is that? And then you just put the tab back up and close her up. So that's Jingle Bugs. And then we go down the shelf. We have Where is the Little Elf and the Elf on the Shelf. And then Cheerios. I mean, some of these books, that's why I went ahead and got a whole bunch of new books. Because I felt like some of these were um, too young for her. But we're still going to keep it. We got Jingle Bugs. Box. So cute. And we have The Christmas Story. We have Holiday Mischief with Stitch. That was actually Coley's book, but she gave it to us. This is something that she loves, and it's a book of Christmas shapes. So she does like that one right now. And then we have Llama Llama Holiday Drama and See Us for Christmas. So those are really cute. So here she just has some of her dolls and her plushies. This is something that she'll get tonight when she comes home. She's been at her dad's for a few days. So I... Actually, George picked this up at TJ Maxx, so I'm going to let her start doing this tonight. Give her something um, fun to do. So, we do love biscuits. We have Biscuit Gives a Gift, Llama Llama Jingle Bells, A Christmas Carol. This one I read to her the other night. It was really, really good. This one had to keep from November Night Animals. She cracks up every time we read this. It's really cute. Not Christmas, but... Some of her stories, when she loves them, they stay out for a couple of months. Then we have Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. This one's really cute, How to Catch Elf. Merry Christmas, this is a storybook collection. And in here, there are, I wanna say, three different stories. So we've read one so far. It was really good. This is an older book. I actually found this, I think, on eBay last year. Maisie's Christmas tree, it's really cute. Then we have Merry Christmas, Ollie. We do love our Ollie stories. Then we have Snowman at Christmas. And I do want to organize this. I'm going to get to the box of the new stuff. And then the Gingerbread Girl Goes Animal Crackers. We haven't read this yet. So maybe we'll do that this week when she's home. And then we have, this is really cute. The Grinch's Big, Great Big Flat Book. Of course, by Dr. Seuss. This is a fun one. Then let's move down here. And we have The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is really good. I do read this one. I like that a lot. This is a cute one. I picked this up for a dollar at a consignment shop. And it's Christmas Lift the Flap Shadow Book. And it's really cute in here. They have different, you know, different things. I do like that one a lot. And then we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. That's a classic. I have that. Wake Up Santa, she likes this one. Even though I think it's a little bit young for her, or she's a little old for it, but it's really cute. And then this was a book given to her last year by Cousin Amy and Uncle Norm. The night before Christmas. This one's Christmas at Last. That's a cute story, too. It's about everyone in the Bear family gets something in their stocking, and then they go outside, and they build a snowman. It's very, very cute. This, I love this book. It's very simple, but Christmas in the Manger. This was probably my favorite book when she was a baby. And I just love it. I'm going to read the last page to you guys. Let's see what this says. I am the baby asleep in the hay, and I am the reason for Christmas Day. I just, I love it. I absolutely love that. And then we have Angelina's Christmas. And I thought this was cute too. I read that to her recently. And one little one, The Night Before Christmas. 
So I just felt like I needed to upgrade a little bit. Some of these will be for Christmas, maybe birthday. So this one's not Christmas related, but it is Disney. And this will probably be a Christmas present or her birthday present for January. And it's Disney Princess Movie Theater. And it's a storybook and a movie projector. So I thought this would be a perfect, perfect gift, whether again, Christmas or birthday. Oh, yeah, I thought that would be kind of cute. One of the ones I got from Amazon, a Charlie Brown Christmas. So, and just look, I mean, these books came so quickly from Amazon. And again, that sale was, um, if you spend $20, you save five. So, and I'll, there was a couple that I had got. And then this is a Christmas Advent story. And this was part of that sale or the $5 discount. So she does love books that have little tabs in them. So it's 10 and 11. So I haven't read this yet. So we'll probably be doing that this week. This is another favorite on things. But Corduroy is, again, a classic and a staple. We have Corduroy's Halloween and Corduroy Goes to the Beach. So this is a nice addition to our Christmas library. I picked up this one. I wasn't a fan of the movie, but it's The Nutcracker in the Four Realms by Disney. And this one does also come with the uh, CD. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I got it because it was like $4 and then it was on part of that $5 sale. So our discount. And then I picked up this one, Eric Carl, Dream Snow. I don't think I've ever had this one before, so um, this will be a first, I think, for me. So I'm so looking forward to this book all together. But these we've had, and I just wanted to organize them, but I keep these separate. These don't go in the attic because of the CDs that are with them. So Mickey's Christmas Carol, love this. Love this so much. I really want to get the Jim Shore figurine. That's Mickey's Christmas Carol. I've seen it, and I, that's my, um, on my wish list. I definitely want that. So, sorry for the tangent, but this is Olaf's Night Before, Cri Night Before Christmas. So, we haven't done this since last year, so this will be a lot of fun to do this. Maybe we'll do this one tonight. And they got Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Oh, look at Sven. I love it. And then we got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a read-along storybook. An audio CD. We did do this last year. And these are so anyway. recently when I had stopped at um, Home Goods, and that's how I knew some of these titles. Like this one, I saw at Home Goods, and I didn't buy it. And this one was at Home Goods, and then Rudolph. So I decided to buy them off Amazon because of that savings that they were offering. So yeah, there's Rudolph, and I love the binding on here. It's just definitely a classic. I was so surprised this like when I opened this I was in awe. So very simple Mickey's Christmas Carol and again you can't really see what you're buying but just look at these pages. When I opened this I was I just I love it. And there's Jiminy Cricket. I mean the 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 way they designed this again it was very hard to tell. And then when I opened it, I was definitely, definitely pleased um, with that book. Amazon, it was $7.99, and then paired with getting another book up to $20, and then you save five bucks. So I felt like it was a win-win, you know, because we definitely needed some new books. This one was not part of that. Actually, maybe it was. Yes, this was part of that $5 off, but this was the most expensive book, so this was... $16 and change and that's why I got this book which was four and change to make the 20 and then save five dollars so I've never owned this book before so this will be a definitely a good read for us Miracle on 34th Street so looking forward to that book this was another book that I had seen at my local um home goods and I decided to take advantage of and get this as part of that Amazon promotion. So we'll read through that. Oh, we're going to be 
busy, busy, busy. I think I'm going to save the best, I think, for last. Well, the last three. So here is bedtime books. So this is going to be adorable. I've never had this one before. Let's settle down now, jitterbugs. We'll share this book and some bedtime hugs. Oh my God, we're going to have so much fun. A lot of times I keep these books up a little bit until she can be so much fun. Look at Oh my goodness, I can't. So, she does have one more of these um, books coming. Um, it's Princess Box, so that might that's going to deliver in a couple of days, and that'll probably be for her birthday. Now, The Twelve Bugs of Christmas. There was one other book that I think I skipped over. Oh, yes. I don't know how I could. I knew I saw it. The Twelve Days of Christmas. We have to sing this. At least every day when she's home with me, if not more than once. And she loves this. And she's actually learning the song, which is really nice. So this is the 12 bugs of Christmas. So on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a fruitcake bug and a pear tree. I mean, it doesn't get any cuter than that. So cute. And then the last one is on the 12th day of Christmas. I just love how this is done it's amazing i love it and then she's gonna love this because we love um the book the big green monster and so we've had that for at least a year and then i got sweet dreams little green monster and i did put those away those were out for a couple of months from october th through november but they're really, really good stories, and I've been had this on my wish list on Amazon for like a year. So this is Glad Monster, Sad Monster, a book about feelings. And I opened this the other day just to take a peek at it. The yellow monster says, opening birthday presents, playing ball, remove the monster mask so it looks like you can take it off of here, slurping ice cream, and dancing with my friend, make me glad. So it's so fun. Oh my goodness, I love it. So you take those off and each page is a little bit different. And it's so vibrant. She's gonna love this so much. And again, it just talks about feelings. I can't wait to read this with her. And then on the back, store all of your monster masks here. And then there's a little pocket. I mean, we love our dramatic play. We love our story time. So that's it that's her. her books i decided to do one video with just all of her books so she has quite a bit thanks for watching bye guys and there we have it i wanted to put all their books out when she comes home and some are tucked behind some she knows, obviously, and then some new ones. She's going to be very, very excited when she comes home. I'm going to put those two right here. Probably start off with those tonight. And then I finished up this wall, too. Yep. I'm very, very pleased with all of our stories. We'll be busy for quite some time. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed Boo's Books Christmas Edition. So she's got quite a collection, some old, some new, and I'm looking forward to reading all of these with her throughout the rest of this month. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.